Now, I would offer that there are two purposes that we as human beings need to pay attention to if we really want to be enfolded totally in the process of life. There's our primary purpose. And our primary purpose I would offer is identical for each and every person. Imagine we have a child that is conceived and from the point of conception that child has to build its own body. Let's imagine that that child goes forward in building its body for a period of two or three months and then says, ah, heck, this is too much work, I quit. When that child is, is forcibly eject from, ejected from the womb, are we going to have a functional human being? No, we are not going to have a viable body born because the building process didn't take place. Well, I would offer that you and I, you know, if you go back and you listen to the ancient Aramaic scriptures, it tells us that we have two bodies. We have a physical body and we have a spiritual body. Now, the physical body develops automatically of its own. There's a program within the structure that tells the cells how to differentiate, what chemistry is needed, the chemistry is developed, and it produces what's needed to build a body. Unless there are interfering energies, and then those chemical, so-called chemical processes, those physiological processes are, are thrown off and we have defects that happen. When we remove the interfering energies, the defects are disappeared and the system can come back into harmony. So the, the so-called physical, this energy body that we call physical, pretty much takes care of itself. But I would offer that you and I need to, and our primary purpose is nurture this spiritual body. That we need to participate in the development of this spiritual body. This spiritual body, we're told, is made in the image, image and likeness of the Creator, and we're told that, that the Creator is love. And so I would offer that your spiritual body is made of love. And most of us come in knowing that. Most of us come in knowing that life is about love. And then we tend to get caught up in the world's purposes and the world's realities and sometimes forget that that's what it's about. And if we do, if the world strengthens realities in our minds like fear and anguish and anger and grief and pain, that's a way that we start to destroy or weaken the awareness that comes with our spiritual body, love. And you remember in the ancient Aramaic, the man named Jesus said, you know, don't be worried about what's going to kill your physical body. Be concerned about that which can destroy the spiritual body. Now, the world would tell you, oh, that's all irrelevant. You can make any choice you want. It's just a matter of how you want to live in the world. There are lots of alternatives. I would offer that there is a lawful process for developing an eternal spiritual body, and there's a lawful process by which it's destroyed. And the world is expert at teaching us to destroy ourselves. We need to make a choice whether we're going to play the world's insanity or whether we're going to nurture and develop the spiritual body that we were given. And the spiritual body is the body that will carry out with awareness if it's strengthened and properly built throughout all of eternity. So our primary purpose, I would offer, is to develop a viable, conscious, spiritual body.